the shadow play. Oh, hi there, Tom Thomas. What are you doing here? Uh, I dropped a paper clip. Give me some light. You've got funny shadows, that's what. Hey, check this out. <laughs> it's an eagle. <laughs> and Simka is a goose. <laughs> she looks more like a moose. I do, huh? <laughs> All right, and take that. <laughs> oh. You're like real actors performing in a show. Uh-huh. Actors play in a theater, you know. And we're just under a bed. And so what? <gasps> How about we make our very own theater? A theater with shadow. Glass! Tom Thomas, we need a, a piece of paper, a huge sheet. <laughs> it's really quite easy to make your own shadow theater. You can make the screen out of a white sheet or a big piece of paper. Next, make sure the room is dark and shine a desk lamp at the screen. Now, to make the shadows, just put yourself or a cardboard cutout between the lamp and the screen. Your shadow or the shadow of your puppets will come to life. But make sure that the audience sits on the other side of the screen. The play will be much more magical for them from that side. Tom Thomas, light! Oh, wow! Simka, you look totally like the real Red Riding Hood. Hello, dear granddaughter. Hello, dear grandmother. Grandmother, what very big eyes you've got. The better to see you with, my dear. <laughs> no, Lick. <laughs> Come on, we're rehearsing. <laughs> the wolf's voice is funny. Grandmother, I never noticed what very big teeth you've got. They're so much better to eat you with, my dear. Yum, 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 yum. Let them out, wolf. Or I'll, or I'll get them out whoa, myself. Ha <laughs> ha, you'll stop me with that little stick? Hey, that's not in the fairy tale. But in the fairy tale, it's a normal hunter. And what do you think I am? Look for yourself. You're way too small to be the hunter. Fine, then go to your play without me. Well, I guess I'll have to make the hunter out of paper then. That's all. Take a break. I'm really thirsty. She was so salty, that grandma. No, Lick. Don't be upset. The wolf is huge, and I'm so little. Then let's make you bigger. You see? Now you're bigger. Yeah, you're right. And if we go back here, then I'm even bigger. Now you know. If you go back here near the lamp, your shadow will get bigger on the screen. Class! There are just so many different kinds of theaters in the world. In the dramatic theater, the actors speak the lines of the playwright. At the opera, the actors don't speak their lines. They sing them, accompanied by an orchestra. And here at the ballet, the performers don't speak or sing their parts. Here, the story is told with dance. There are also theaters where the performers are animals. In an animal theater, you can watch performances by cats and dogs, or goats and pigeons, or even bears and seals. There are also theaters where the stories are told by puppets. To tell the truth, the puppets are brought to life with the help of people. Yes, there are so many different kinds of theater. My favorite is the Shadow Theater. I think it's the most beautiful and mysterious theater of them all. Hello, dear grandmother. Grandmother, what very big eyes you've got. The better to see you with, my dear. And grandmother, what great big sharp teeth you've got. All the better to eat you up with, my dear. Um. Ooh, just wait. Aha, Wolf, I've got you. The hunter looks so strong. You're a hunter? Then where's your gun? Why do I need a gun? You're so tiny I could use a fly swatter. <laughs> but I'd rather do it like this. Like what? With my bare hands. Way to go! <laughs> <laughs> Your favorite? Mine was the grandmother. Well, I think Red Riding Hood was the best. 
For me, the hunter, he was so mighty and so fearless. And for me, the special effects. <laughs> the antenna. Wow, is this cool or what? Ah, hello there, little fixies. Did you come to see what I'm working on? <laughs> Professor Eugenius, tell us what you're planning on doing with this huge thing. Well, I hope to use this fantastic device to make contact with aliens. Since ancient times, people have wondered, is there life on other planets? What might aliens from outer space look like? And what kind of spaceships do they travel in? There are some people who say that they've seen alien spaceships and that they look like flying saucers. There are even some people who say they've actually made contact with aliens. But personally, I'm sure it's just their fantasy. And science hasn't been able to prove any of these stories either. The one story that makes me laugh harder than all of the rest comes from a guy who claims that he saw aliens with his own eyes. Can you believe it? He said that there was a group of tiny aliens that looked like humans with glowing hair. It seems to me that this guy just happened to spot a few fixies who weren't able to hide from him in time. <laughs> Ready. If I could talk and now what? The if the aliens are out there flying by the Earth, they'll see this plate get hungry and come for food? <laughs> aliens don't need a plate like this, silly, when they've got plates that fly, flying saucers. You're both silly. This thing isn't a plate at all. It's an antenna. Antenna? Antennas help people receive radio signals. They come in all sorts of shapes and sizes, like this, this, or this, to pick up a signal that's very weak. Powerful antennas that are shaped like large dishes work the best of all. When radio waves hit the dish, the waves all bounce off of it and gather together into one point. This makes the signal stronger and clearer. The most powerful dish antennas can even pick up signals from outer space. No, look, stop! You'll burn yourself! Don't treat me like a baby boy, okay? Ah, interesting. I wonder what's inside of there, do you know? Why don't we go and take a look? <laughs> I was only trying to help him out. No need, Nola. The soldering iron is way too hot, and I'm practically all done here. Ta -ta. Then let's start looking for those aliens in outer space. <laughs> Just one second, Nolik. There. Uh-oh. And now, uh-huh. <laughs> See if we can pick up signals from outer space. What do you think? Is it night right now? Where the aliens live? What if they're sleeping? Quit bothering the professor with your nonsense. Let us out right now. Can't you hear us? Please let us out! I'm afraid there's no way they can hear us from this far away. Uh, I can't hear any signals. It just sounds like static. Be patient, you guys, and keep listening. Digit, we all know how clever you are. Can't you think of a way out of here? I think I got it, Tula. You stay there. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. I'll use a special code I know to send a signal that we're in trouble. Hmm. Wait a second. Do you hear that? Could it be a signal from the alien? Hooray! This is sensational. <gasps> it means that somewhere in the cosmos are intelligent forms of life. Three dots, three dashes, three dots. Ooh! It's Morse code. It's a signal for help that they're sending. You don't think the aliens are in trouble, do you? Yeah, I think so. And who do you think they learned Morse code from out there? Yeah, that's strange. There are hardly any fixies that know that code. Digit does. Ah, oh. and where is he, you know? And where's Tula? Well, well, I think I know exactly with which aliens we made contact. I think I know it too, Professor. Lower the antenna. Greetings, 
to you, oh extraterrestrial visitors. Hi there. <laughs> it's good to be back. Uh, oh. Uh, what a shame. I was really hoping that we'd find intelligent life forms out there. It's all right. <laughs> At least we found two unintelligent ones. <laughs> <laughs>